Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find nth derivative of sin ax plus b. So here we have to write this y as a, this is sin of ax plus b, right? We have considered this function y as a sin of ax plus b where this a and b, these are the constants, right? And we have to find its derivative, this is y1, y2, y3 up to yn, right? That means we here we have to find nth derivative of this y, right? Okay, now we have to differentiate this y with respect to x, right? So here we get this y1, this is first differentiation. This is here we have this is cos of ax plus b into differentiation of this function this is ax plus b right so here we have this is cos of ax plus b into a right so that means here we have first differentiation this is a into cos of ax plus b right here this is a functions of functions right that means here we have to find derivative in this way right yes now here when we differentiate this y1 to get y2 we will get here minus sine right and y3 we will get cos right that means when we differentiate this function again and again we will get alternatively sine and cos right that means to make generalization of this yn we will write down this cos in terms of sine by using this formula Yes, we know that we can write this is cos of theta is equals to this is sine of pi by 2 plus theta, right? By using this identity, we can write this y1 as a, this a is a constant and cos as a this sine of this ax plus b, right? Plus this pi by 2. We have treat this ax plus b, this is as a theta, right? So, here we have y1 is equals to a into the sine of ax plus b plus pi by 2, right? Now, again differentiating this is with respect to x, we get this y2, y2 is differentiation of this sine. This is here we have a constant sine differentiation this is cos this angle this is as it is cos of this angle cos of ax plus b plus pi by 2 into this differentiation with respect to x so here we have this is a right so we got here y2 as a a square into cos of ax plus b plus pi by 2 right now we can write again this cos in terms of sine by using this identity. So here we have this is sine of complete now this is as a theta. So here we have this is ax plus b plus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 right. That means here we get this is a square into what we have here. This is sine of ax plus b plus 2 pi by 2, right? Again, we will write y2 as a, this is a square sine of ax plus b plus 2 pi by 2, right? This is here we have y1, y2, right? That means by observing this one y1 and y2 yes we can say that here we have y3 this is as a a cube into sine of ax plus b plus 3 pi by 2 yes when we have here y2 here we have to write 2 pi by 2 when we have y3 here we have write down plus 3 pi by 2 right Similarly, again differentiating this y3, we get y4 and y4 is this a4 into sine of this ax plus b plus this 4 pi by 2, right? 
now from this one yes we can write generalization of this derivative here we get y n so here we can write this is y n as a this a raised to n into sign of this a x plus b plus n pi by 2 right where this a and b these are the constants this here we have find derivative of nth derivative of this y is equals to sin of ax plus b right we got this y n this is nth derivative of this sin of ax plus b right so by putting any value of n we can find derivative here so if we have let's consider if we have this y is equals to sin of this 2x plus 3 we can write its 10th derivative this is given by yes what we have to do 10th derivative here we have to write down this a is here 2 that means here 2 raised to 10 into sin of this 2x plus 3 plus here we have to write this is 10 into pi by 2 right so here we have find y10 which is the derivative of this y right now again let's consider here we have this y is equals to this is sin of ax right where we have put here this b is equals to 0 in this right so that means we can write this nth derivative y n this is as a a raised to n into sin of this ax plus n pi by 2 right yes so this is nth derivative of this y is equals to sin ax right now let's consider if we have y is equals to this is sin of 4x and if we have to find its y2 that means we have to find second derivative of this one so yes what is second derivative by using this formula here we have to write this is 4 square right and this is of sin of this 4x plus 2 pi by 2 right so this is 4 square into yes this is sin of 4x plus pi right and we know that we can simplify this is here so we get y2 this is 4 square into this is what this is we get minus of this is cos of 4x right yes we can simplify this is by using this formula this is sin e plus b thus here we get here this is yes this is the second derivative of this one yes so in this way we have find nth derivative of y is equals to sin ax plus b where this a and b these are the constants and its nth derivative is given by this formula right. So yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching.